Let's uh, take a look at the guitar style of Vince Gill for a second. He's a fantastic singer, but he also picks a mean guitar. He likes to play some kind of Bakersfield style electric guitar, um, maybe by way of East Tennessee. He also does some really great bluesy lead guitar stuff, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. His guitar leads tend to be just like his singing, just very uh, emotional, very lyrical, and he kind of reminds us that uh, country and blues are, are still cousins from the same family, so um, he might, you might hear him do something like this. So it might not be um, the flashiest thing to do, but it's the most melodic, most vocal-like. Kind of reminds me sometimes of what B.B. King might play when he's not singing. Um, that conversation between B.B. and his guitar, Lucille. Uh, I would imagine uh, Vince, just like the rest of us, uh, has to check in with Lucille regularly for inspiration. But Vince also uh, does a lot of really hot country style picking. That's got a lot of pull-offs in it. He also does some really cool descending lines, st stuff like this. Some of those pull-offs, they're kind of grace notes. I find I get some of that from listening to bluegrass stuff like Clarence White, um, obviously Doc Watson, some Tony Rice. It's a cool way to just dress up a real simple melodic line, and it adds a nice momentum to the rhythm that you're trying to get out. Something like... So I'm just going down sort of a uh, bluesy pentatonic scale like and I'm doing that pull off on my way down to the root. And of course doing whole step pull-offs works really well too. Half step pull-offs. So anyway, that's just a little taste of uh, some of my favorite Vince Gill stuff that he likes to do and he's got a whole lot more where that came from.